Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to take you through Azure App Service security related features. The first thing I'm going to discuss about is authentication and authorization. Every app service comes with authentication and authorization module that handles several things for your app. Firstly, it will authenticate users with a specified provider. This provider can be Facebook, Google, Twitter, Azure Active Directory and so on. And also it will validate and stores and refreshes tokens. And thirdly, it also manages the authenticated session. And finally, it injects the identity information into request headers. To better explain about authentication and authorization, I will show you one very good diagram for Microsoft documentation. This is the one. As you can see in this diagram, first the request from the client browser will come to App Service Frontend. From that, the request will be forwarded to authentication and authorization module. And that authentication module will include all authorization and authentication logic, which includes token management and also session management and so on. And it sits outside the web app code. That's the reason you don't need to change any code within your web application to enable authentication and authorization for your app in Azure. And also using environment variables, you can able to slightly influence this authentication and authorization logic in terms of tracing, etc. But most of these environment variables are read only. And in terms of maintaining the state, so for example, storing the tokens, IS logs, and application trace, all these information will be stored in site storage volume. Okay. And in case if you want to store some of this information into a storage account, that is also possible. I hope this diagram provides a better view of authentication and authorization feature associated with App Service. So let's go back to presentation. And as I said, in terms of logging and tracing, if you enable application logging, you will see authentication and authorization traces directly in your log files. You can use one of the environment variables to define the trace level also. And the next thing is there are other security areas that you need to be aware of with respect to app service, which you can take advantage of them basically. Firstly, app service is ISO, SOC and PCI compliant. Basically, if you are processing credit card information, the underlying environment is PCI compliant. But at the same time, you have to go for PCI compliance from the application layer perspective. But from the environment perspective, Microsoft Azure App Service is PCI compliant. And in case if you want to limit the trigger to your app service from a certain trusted IP addresses, then you can whitelist the same within Azure portal for your app service. And also to encrypt the data at transit, you can enable SSL communication. So these are the other key security areas. In addition to this, there is one more I want to discuss with you. That is manager service identity. This is reasonably new one within Azure. Basically what you are doing is you are creating an identity for your app and providing access to different services to that identity. By doing this, you actually don't need to store any user ID passwords in order to access certain Azure services. So what you generally do is you'll go to Azure portal and tell to ARM to create a managed service identity for your Azure app service. And when you trigger that as a second step, a service principle will get created in Azure Active Directory. And for that service principle, you will provide access to different Azure services, such as Key Vault or Azure SQL and so on. Once you provided that access from within the application code, you can authenticate against Azure Active Directory and get a token. And by presenting the token to these services, such as Key Vault, Azure SQL, you will be able to access the resources from the same. So for example, if you want to access a secret from Azure Key Vault by submitting the token and uh, having a proper access policy defined within Azure Key Vault, your application code will be able to retrieve the secret at runtime and use that secret in order to access an on-premise resource, let's say for example. Okay. So this is a very useful feature and also can be used to highly secure your app service communication with other services, both within Azure and also on-premise. So, so far I have taken you through different features associated with app service security. In addition to all these things, if you are using app service environments, 
then you will get additional benefits in terms of security. Because app service environment is getting deployed within a virtual network, by default you will get that network isolation and all those stuff. And also you can associate network security groups and control the type of traffic that is coming into your app service using network security groups. And also you can associate a front end like application gateway before your app service. This is all possible because your app service environment will be deployed within a virtual network. So this application gateway which can front end your app service environment has a feature which is web application firewall that provides centralized protection of your web applications from common exploits and vulnerabilities. So basically this web application firewall comes with a certain industry standard rule sets which includes all the rules to safeguard your app service against some common attacks like SQL injection attack, something like that. So these are all the different security features associated with app service and app service environments. In the next lab, I'm going to take you through different security features that you can see using Azure portal. And also I'm going to show you how to enable authentication for your app. And I'm going to test it to make sure it is working. So if you have some time, join me in the next lab.